Okay, so I drew up here a picture so that we could take a look at segregation and alleles and how you got your alleles from your parents. Okay, first thing I did was I defined three different traits. Hair color, freckles, uh, hair type, and um, whether or not your earlobes are attached. Okay, everything up here with the big, next to the big letter is the dominant trait. Everything next to the little letter is the recessive one. Okay, so I started over here with um, dad's homologous chromosomes from mom and dad. Okay, and I was able to determine that dad had brown hair, freckles, curly hair, and his ears were not attached. Okay. After crossing over, that's how I got the blue and the red. Remember when that happens to create diversity? And then we split the homologous and we split the pairs, and they each end up in different sperm. Okay? Four genetically different haploid sperm. None of those sperm has the same exact color and letter sequence, right? Okay. Over here for mom's egg, I did the same thing. I determined what kind of traits she had given her letters. Mom had blonde hair no freckles, uh, her hair was curly, and her earlobes were attached, okay? When egg and sperm came together, all right, they made a baby. They made a baby according to the letters on each of these pieces of DNA. So baby ended up being big A, little a, little b, little b, big D, big D, and little e, little e. So baby has brown hair, no freckles, his or her hair is curly, and her earlobes are not attached. Does that make sense? Do you all see how that works? Okay, cool. 